Right, another uh, thing you wanted to talk about, Richard, uh, which is probably why I felt like I was riding it so smoothly on the way down. Now, I love bikes nowadays. They make you think you're a really good rider when, when I'm probably pony. But um, it's a slipper clutch. Slipper clutch on this, yes. Uh, right. It's a fully adjustable slipper clutch on it. Um, the, the idea behind it is that um, when you're entering a, a, a relatively fast corner and you're going down through the gearbox, what you don't want is that your, your engine braking to badly affect your rear suspension. Yeah. And too much engine braking can quite often cause the back end to skip and hop. So what this does is it, it, it uses a cam system to unload the clutch ever so slightly Wicked. to almost almost um, not disconnect the rear wheel from the engine, yeah. but put it into a, a very, very slight state of slip. And that means that you can benefit from the engine braking, but it's not having an adverse effect. On and you're not losing grip, you're not Absolutely. losing, because obviously if it's skipping, that's, that's your contact if area that's going, yeah, and, and I've done that a few yeah. times, so that's brilliant. And as you say, it just allows you to get that engine braking, kind of use it to balance the bike out a little bit more without yes, yeah. overbalancing it, just you're going into the corner before you drop and it in. obviously it's adjustable for rider preference as well, so if you're a rider that, that wanted maybe a little bit more engine slip, um, yeah. then you could adjust it accordingly. Brilliant. So. Cool, okay. Okay. Another feature of the bike is the um, twin butterfly throttle bodies. Yeah, now to talk me through this because that, that sounds very technical. <laughs> well, what, what we have, uh, we have tw twin injectors on this yep. um, and we have twin uh, throttle butterflies. The rider is in charge of the, um, pretty much controls the, um, the butterfly that's closest to the engine. Yeah. But then we have full ECU control over the secondary butterfly. Okay. So that means that it optimizes airflow into the engine. So if you grab a handful of throttle yeah. and the engine's not ready to take a big gulp of air, it'll just bring it in gradually. It's in. in with the ECU. Do you know what, actually, all these things are explaining to me now, and this is me being the non technical person that I am at Gumby, it does explain why I thought it's such a smooth ride it's because I was actually. Answer really kind of given it some today and uh, at no point you know what it's like some bikes you get on jerk all over the shop this really didn't and it, it, it actually I think it's the way that a lot of bikes are going you know as you say it's much easier to ride yes, fast if yes, you know what I mean as well and much more forgiving I mean you, you know what it's like to get on a bike you know ten, even 10 five, ten years ago you get on a ton, a ton of thousand super bike I always call them a ton up that's a stupid expression it's a thousand um, you get on a super like that you make a mistake you know about it you're normally in a, in a ditch somewhere yes, nowadays yes. as you say you Okay, you let the engine out too quickly. You'd say, well, you're in first. You're coming into a fast corner. You accidentally let it out in first. The slipper clutch is going to stop you from jumping all over the road. That that's going to stop you from being on a roundabout and giving it too much on the right kind of throttle. It, 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 it certainly optimises the airflow into the engine. So really, your engine's getting um, the best airflow into it that it, it possibly can without yeah. the, the the negative input from a rider. If you like. That's brilliant. So in other words, this this bike is so good it actually makes up for all our riders as riders' mistakes. Yes. That's pretty much it. Brilliant. Well, listen, Richard, thank you so much for taking the time for talking us through it. Um, as I say, we've got the pricing, we've got everything now. I think that's pretty much covered the bike. I think it's blooming great and uh, a great compromise. If, if you think a thousand is, as you say, if you're using it every day, it's, it's too much on the road, isn't yes. it? Do you know what I mean? It is. You're never going to get into fifth gear and ten top revs, at least on this. I would say I was working it through kind of fourth, fifth, you know, and, and even stuff on the motorway, and it was so much fun and easy to ride. Very enjoyable bike. Thank you so much, Richard. Real pleasure coming down, and thank you, Luke. No Time for me too. to go get on my bandit. Yeah. <laughs>